Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about development of eye in frog. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So basically eye is an ectodermal derivative. That means eye gets formed from ectoderm. The development of eye begins at the gastrulation stage. So first we will see the formation of optic cup. Development of two optic vessels from two lateral outgrowths of the prosencephalon. And the cavity of the optic vesicle is called optocele. Connection of the optic vesicle with the brain is called optic stock. Optic vesicles extend outward and reach the ectoderm. The wall of the optic vesicle next to the ectoderm invaginates to form optic cup just like this. From this optic cup retina, pupil, iris, choroid fissure develop. Next we will see the development of lens. So ectoderm next to the optic cup thickens just like this and it is called lens placard. Lens placard curves into a cup just like this and finally separates from the ectoderm now called lens vesicle and this lens vesicle becomes future lens. The overlying ectoderm closes over and becomes cornea. The ectodermal cells covering cornea form an extremely thin transparent membrane. This is called conjunctiva. So above cornea, the thin membrane will form that is conjunctiva. In adults, this conjunctiva becomes continuous with the upper and lower eyelids. The space between lens and cornea lens and cornea the space is called aqueous humor mesenchyme cells give rise to choroid coat and scleroid coat it is also called as sclera so here we have the mesenchyme cells which will form choroid coat and sclera choroid coat contains blood vessels and sclera provides protection to eye. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.